Um, you know, looking at these first two weeks, what are your biggest takeaways from the way that you guys have played, and you know, what do you see that needs to be fixed heading into Indiana week? Um, not just anything in particular, but just basically just meshing as a group. We're big. We have to play together and keep playing together to get comfortable. And I think week to week, you've seen us get a little bit more comfortable each week. And then hopefully as the season progresses, we just keep getting more comfortable playing with each other and coming together. When it comes down to playing a Power 5 opponent, it must be huge for you to go in and, and go to this incredible environment. How excited are you for this game? Um, it's definitely exciting. It's you know, it's a nice opportunity to go play a Big Ten team in their house. You know, they came here last year and kind of got away with one with us. So it'll be nice to go up to their place and get to play a bigger school at their home stadium. So you, know, you guys have done a good job keeping us awesome, you know, pretty clean through these first two games. What kind of challenges does Indiana present in that regard? Um, well, they do a lot of good stuff defensively. They have a lot of good players over there. I mean, obviously, as a power five, they got some guys that are pretty big, pretty fast. They have a really good defensive scheme and how they like to twist and blitz and stuff to try to get pressure on the quarterback. But uh, we'll just see. It's just another test for us in this long season. So It's got to be a little bit different for you guys. You played them last year, like you said, and their team pretty much looks very different from last year. How is it going from one opponent to another, but they're the same exact team? Uh, I mean, you try to watch a little bit of last year's film, kind of see you know who's coming back if they carry any of the schemes over but I mean really and truly every game is a different game whether it be the same team if we play them 10 times in a row in a year it's going to be 10 different games no matter what happens so you're just coming in and knowing that they're a different team we're a different team than last year obviously so it's just going to you know kind of focusing on this year's Indiana Hoosiers not last. You know looking at Austin for his first two games here how do you think he's done what's kind of stood out to you about him? Uh, what stands out the most is the, just the leadership the guy brings, man. It's, he's just a different kind of cat. When you walk on the field, he kind of gets everybody, just kind of gravitates towards him on the field and off the field. You know, that's just who he is. If y'all seen him, he's like, he's like my little energizer body. He always gets going. You know, he's very, very excited and, you know, just he's been in just fine. And he's doing exactly what we want him to do and everything that he's been asked to do. So. I just spent the bye week probably resting a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't really do much. I actually had a wedding I had to go to, so I had to go do that and then really just hung around and watched some games. You know, it's kind of nice on Saturdays actually getting to watch college football again. It's a little bit different now. Crazy we get to watch. Yeah, <laughs> no, I mean, how about that? You know, shout out to the Sunbelt Conference. Man. They had some pretty good upsets, but... Uh.